Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to convert your Bitcoin over to Binance based Bitcoin on the Binance Smart Chain using the Binance Bridge. So let's get going. All right, so I'm here on the Binance Bridge webpage. I'll put a link to this down in the description. Now, this is how you are able to convert your uh, BTC or Bitcoin over to the Binance version of Bitcoin on the Binance Smart Chain. Now, it's basically a Bitcoin pegged stable coin that is pegged to the price of Bitcoin, uh, but it has some advantages over Bitcoin in that it runs on the Binance Smart Chain it's faster and cheaper to trade Binance-based Bitcoin than it is on the Bitcoin blockchain. All right, now uh, this is the CoinGecko page for Bitcoin pegged Binance coin or BTCB. It's gonna give you a lot of information about it. And then that'll lead you over to the Binance blog where they explain exactly what this token is, it's all about and its benefits. Right. So this process is actually very simple. If you have access to the Binance centralized exchange, uh, a lot of people don't. A lot of people in the U.S. are blocked from this. Uh, but if you are able to access Binance, then you simply deposit some BTC in your account. All right. Once you have some Bitcoin in your Binance centralized exchange account, you can do a withdrawal and they give you several options for withdrawing to the different networks, right? If you wanted to withdraw to the uh, regular Binance chain, you'd simply put in a Binance address here. If you wanted to withdraw to the Binance Smart Chain, then you'd put a Binance Smart Chain address here, right? So it uh, makes it really easy if you have access to the Binance centralized exchange. But like I said, a lot of people in the U.S. are being blocked from Binance, so this Binance Bridge is really a cool way of doing it uh, without having to access Binance itself. But in order to manipulate and trade or hold this coin, you're going to need a Binance Smart Chain wallet. So I'm going to show you how to get that going. So today I'm going to use MetaMask. Now, if you're not familiar with MetaMask, uh, I've got a great video on how to set up and use MetaMask. I'll put a link to that one up in the corner. All right, and that'll get you set up on MetaMask. But you'll notice that at the very top here of the MetaMask interface, you've got this Ethereum mainnet. I'm sure this is what most people are used to. Uh, it's the default network for uh, MetaMask. But if you pull this down, you can see that there are other networks that are available. Now, most of these here are test networks, and I've got mine set up here for the Binance Smart Chain. Notice that when I switch to Binance Smart Chain, uh, it shows different tokens. These are all Binance-based tokens, and you can set this up yourself. It's not that difficult. So if you click here on this little icon, it shows you the accounts interface, and then down at the very bottom is settings, and you're going to go down to networks, and you're going to create a new network. You just scroll down to the bottom and hit add network. And you can give the network a name and you've got some settings here that you're going to fill in. Here is a blog post that has those settings. I'm gonna scroll down here. You, you wanna use mainnet, right? You don't wanna use a testnet because you're gonna be putting real coins in here. So this mainnet has the settings that you're going to need right? 56 is what I'm using. And then the symbol BNB, and then this block explorer address here. And then also you'll click here to get the RPC URLs. You can see there that I've filled in all these settings, right? Uh, that is just one of the URLs that was available over here. You can see I use this recommended one bsc-datac.binance.org here. And my chain ID has actually been switched automatically to 0x38. Uh, I originally put in 56 here. As you can see here, they've got this uh, guidance here on uh, the right way to do this. Try 56 or try 038. 
and then here's the symbol and the block explorer URL, right? You get all those settings in there and then you've got a new network in your list, right? And then you can switch over to that, right? Now that we've prepared our wallet, let's move some Bitcoin in there by converting it on the bridge. So let's go back over here to bridge. All right, and on the bridge, you'll see it asks me to connect wallet. Now, uh, let's do a little experiment. Let's put our MetaMask back on the Ethereum mainnet for a, for a minute here. Let's hit connect wallet and choose MetaMask. It doesn't like that at all, right? Unsupported network. S please switch to BCS, all right? So we have to be in our MetaMask. We have to have MetaMask ready and open and over on the Binance Smart Chain network. All right, once we've got that, we can do connect wallet, choose MetaMask, hit connect wallet again. And now you can see up here in the corner, we've got the right address and here too in the destination. All right, now this can be used for other tokens as well. Uh, US Tether is one of them, but I'm just gonna focus on Bitcoin. So uh, I'm gonna hit here and switch it over to Bitcoin. You can see there's quite a few coins that we can convert over to the Binance chain. So we'll choose Bitcoin, all right? And then I'm gonna put in an amount. I'm gonna use 0 .0, uh, 0 0.01, all right? That's the amount of Bitcoin I would like to convert over to the Binance Bitcoin, all right? So uh, we got everything set up. We'll hit next, all right? We'll confirm all these settings. We've got it connected to our wallet. Everything's good. We'll hit confirm again. Right now it wants me to send my Bitcoin to this address. It's kind of like Coin Switch Pro if you've ever used it before. So I'm gonna copy this address into my clipboard and then I'm gonna send some Bitcoin to this address. So in my case, I'm gonna use my Ledger Live. You can use any wallet you want. I mean, you basically just need to send it to a Bitcoin address. All right, so I'm just gonna do a send and then I'm gonna paste in that Bitcoin address. That's the Bitcoin address I got from uh, Binance Bridge, right? That's this address right here. All right, I'm gonna paste that into the interface. I'll hit continue. And then I'm gonna put in that amount that I, re I promised I was gonna send, right? 0 0.01, right? it's about $158 worth of Bitcoin. We'll hit continue. All right, and we're gonna wanna be in the Bitcoin app on our device, but uh, you can just hit continue here and it will ask you to open the Bitcoin app automatically, right? So it's giving you the option to open the Bitcoin app. All you have to do is hit both buttons and you can enter the Bitcoin app. You could have already been in the Bitcoin app before you did that step. Either way, it works fine. All right, now it's gonna ask you to review this action uh, we're going to review this. That's the amount of Bitcoin we're sending. That is the address we're sending to. And then we just click accept. This is the part where we sign the transaction because the private keys are held on our device. Hit both buttons there. Now I also need to confirm the Bitcoin fees on the Bitcoin network. Uh, they're pretty small, right? But I, it's a separate transaction. I'll hit both buttons there and off the Bitcoin goes. Now you could send this Bitcoin directly from your uh, cryptocurrency exchange account if you wanted to uh, just do a withdraw to the Binance bridge address. Um, I prefer to send, when I'm doing uh, conversions like this, I, per, I feel more comfortable sending it from my own wallet, but you could just as easily withdraw it from Coinbase to that uh, Binance bridge address or withdraw it from uh, Binance US or Kraken or any number of cryptocurrency exchanges. You could do it that way as well. So we'll just wait uh, for this to uh, see the Bitcoin transaction that we've just sent. And you can also see there that there's a QR code there uh, that you can use to scan for this Bitcoin deposit if you've got a phone-based app or phone-based wallet that you wanna send the Bitcoin from. Okay, and there we can see now that uh, the Binance Bridge has uh, received 
the Bitcoin transaction and is now processing it on the blockchain. So be patient. Uh, this will take a little bit. Uh, you'll notice down there at the bottom that it says pending. So uh, it's going to have to go through the confirmations until it actually shows up in your wallet. Okay, and now you can see there that it's been fully confirmed and that I have uh, and that I've received uh, that converted Bitcoin. All right, so we can close this out. Now we want to double check our wallet and make sure that this Bitcoin is in there, right? This Binance type Bitcoin. So we can go over here. And we're going to scroll down and we may not see the Bitcoin in here. It's not going to automatically appear. Oh, there it is. Uh, BTCCB, right? Now, if you don't see it, uh, it might not appear. I, I've tried to uh, add this token. Uh, but it's not here. Yeah, so uh, you may have to trade it a while before it actually shows up in your list of tokens. As you can see, it showed up in mine. Let me just click on that. And it shows the, the amount of Bitcoin that just came in. All right, but if you're not sure, I can show you a way to uh, see that Bitcoin. So if you go to any of the uh, Binance chain uh, decentralized exchanges, uh, you can see your uh, balance in the trading interface. So I'll show you that. So we can go over here to uh, PancakeSwap. I'm at the PancakeSwap trading interface, the exchange interface. So when we click on tokens, we can just scroll down here and you can see there's that uh, BTCB that showed up. All right. So I can click on that. And then I can use that to trade for other tokens. So if, for example, I wanted to buy that Bitcoin to, or I wanted to use that Bitcoin to buy some more BNB, I could do that. Right. Or I could trade it for um, some cake tokens if I wanted to. Right. So now that that Bitcoin has been converted to BTCB, I can use it for trading on any of the Binance smart chain uh, exchanges, right? You can also use it on the Binance DEX, um, which is slightly more complicated. So in the case of the uh, Binance DEX, if you wanted to use the Binance DEX, you would need to use a different wallet, right? Right, so when you connected wallet, you would use the Binance DEX extension for that, right? But that's a subject for another video. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.